Ilona Postenska with a speech entitled The Biggest Evil. The Biggest Evil, Ilona Postenska. Good evening, dear friends. Nice to see you all here. To begin with, please raise your right hand. Everybody, come on, come on. Not like this. <laughs> and put it in your heart. <laughs> and now please answer my only question. What is the biggest evil in your life? Come on, be honest, at least tonight. Oh, that's a good variant. I know it's very hard to, to make, to come up with some answer. So before coming to you, I made a survey among my friends. And you know, I've got very interesting results. Whenever I ask men about the biggest evil in their life, mm -hmm. they also practically always answer, women. <laughs> and when I ask women, what is the biggest evil in your life? The usual answer was, <laughs> chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> then I had to put some additional answer. Where do you spend most time of your life? And the answer was, unanimous. Were. Dear friends, now, despite the fact that my colleagues are sitting over there and watching me carefully, I declare work is the biggest evil in our life. <laughs> Some, somebody is shaking heads in disagreement. Well, you see, of course, you might say, I love my work. Work is very important for me. Work brings fun. Pleasure, satisfaction when it's well paid. Sure, due to work I can make a brilliant career. I can get a distinguished social status. It contributes to my personal and professional development. Well, all this reasoning is right on the one hand. But what do we have on the other hand? Just imagine, there is a cool concert and your friends are inviting you. Sorry guys, I have so much work these days. Perhaps next time. Or your relatives are coming from abroad and there is a huge family reunion. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. I have a very serious deadline. I can't come. Does that sound familiar? Ah, you see? Unfortunately, besides this precious and fun time which we could spend with people whom we really love, very often we sacrifice so many other important things in favor of work. I guess nobody can deny that work ruins our body. You know, I'm also like a typical office plant like many of you here. Every morning I plant my body onto the chair and hardly ever move it during the whole day. All my work is done here within this processor. But what is happening to the rest of my body? I'm getting short-sighted, stupid, and feeble. <laughs> By the end of the working day, I feel myself so much weak that I can hardly keep my processor in the upright position. <laughs> so, you see, work takes away our body, it takes away our time, and together with this, it also takes away my mental health. And I'm not kidding here. Just imagine. Presentation, deadline, invitation, deadline, conference, deadline, project, deadline. I hear the word deadline constantly. And it sounds the same in all four languages which are used. So tell me, how can I be mentally healthy if I hear the word dead? <laughs> so many times per day. So you see, work takes away your body, your mind, your time, and what is left? So, right? Forget about it. Like, it's taken already. You know, in our world, networking, mingling, such trendy words. Everybody's doing it for work. You know, I also have to do networking for my work. But frankly speaking, I'm already fed up with this constant chase for contacts. No, really, every time I come to some party, totally informal, and I meet some new people, the second question which I get is usually, hmm, a 
I'm ready, you work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people, I'm not a contact. I'm not 470 second contact on your LinkedIn or Facebook profile. Look, I'm real. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm a living person with my hobbies, with my interests, with my ideas, my desires, and my fears. And actually, one of my fears is to lose something genuine, to lose personal relations in favor of work. Unfortunately, I had this sad experience. And now I see so many of my friends are standing on the verge of making the same mistake. Guys, you know who I'm talking about. Some of you are sitting here. Thanks for coming. The others will be watching me on YouTube. See ya later. <laughs> <laughs> my dearest friends, my dearest workaholics, sure, I'm not going to teach you how to live. Not at all. Just remember, work can be good and evil at the same time. And it's only up to you which way to go. Just remember, you work to live and not vice versa. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>